Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about anemia of malignancy. Anemia is a condition characterized by a decrease in the number of red blood cells or a decrease in the amount of hemoglobin in the blood. You can watch eight signs of anemia from top right corner. This can lead to reduced oxygen carrying capacity in the blood, resulting in various symptoms like fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. Anemia of malignancy presents similar to the anemia seen in many inflammatory disorders. We could see fatigue, weakness, vague symptoms. The causes are usually unknown, but it could be caused by chronic inflammation. Many cancers trigger an inflammatory response in the body, and chronic inflammation can interfere with the production and function of red blood cells. Suppression of bone marrow could be another cause. Some cancers can inhibit the bone marrow's ability to produce red blood cells, leading to reduced production of new red blood cells. Increased destruction of red blood cells could be another reason. Certain malignancies may promote the destruction of red blood cells, reducing their lifespan and circulation. Nutritional deficiencies. Cancer patients may experience reduced appetite, or difficulty absorbing nutrients which can contribute to anemia. Lab values are usually notable for normochromic and normocytic anemia. I will explain in a minute. Normocytic normochromic anemia is a type of anemia characterized by normal size, which is normocytic, and the normal amount of hemoglobin per red blood cell, which is normochromic. Other key findings you can see on malignancy are hypercalcemia we have a video on signs of high calcium in the blood and weight loss that is not intended any patient presenting with a normal stick normal chromic anemia with vague symptoms like fatigue should be worked up for an underlying etiology for the presentation which may include tumor markers and radiography treatment typically involves managing the underlying cancer and in some cases, addressing the anemia directly with supportive therapies such as blood transfusions or medications that stimulate red blood cell production. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends. Don't forget to watch our folate deficiency signs, signs of anemia, signs of high calcium in the blood. Videos. See you on the next one.